everyone has a story, including the animals at Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. Welcome to entry number two of our three-part Jessup's Journal virtual field trip. And yes, be watching for three quiz questions in this entry. And with me is? Brent Beardsley. I'm the public programs manager here at the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. Corals? Yeah, so we've got a few neat corals here, toadstool leather coral, and there's quite a few pipefish hiding oh, yeah. in there as well. I can see why they're called pipefish. This is a leatherback sea turtle. Wow. Okay. They are so, the largest types of sea turtles. This is accurate size? Yeah, they can grow to be up to 10 oh. feet long. Sea turtles be found all across the world because they will migrate and travel great distances. Yeah. Hey, crush. Wow. These are just beautiful. So right here, yeah. our pygmy octopus is uh, out taking a look at us as well. So I, I you're not do. the only one who's curious about seeing something new today. Octopus are some of my favorite animals. Oh, just, yeah. They're curious. They see something new. They want to investigate it. They're playful. Uh, they're just fun animals to look at and study. And they can change color. And they can change color. Touching me, touching me. <laughs> I've seen jellyfish before, but not this one. Yeah, normally you think of jellies as drifting around and floating in the water, but these are the upside down jellies. They have algae, little plants that live in their tentacles. That's the color? Yep, that gives them that color. So they stay upside down in shallow, bright waters to get as much sunlight as they can. Isn't that crazy? Okay, now I've noticed these guys in the back, they're really pulsing. Why do yeah. they pulse? That helps to move water over them so that they can get more water over their tentacles. And it also helps them stay in place so they don't go drifting off wherever. Wow. So where would you find these guys? To find these ones, you're going to need to go to the tropics, kind of the Indo-Pacific Ocean area between South uh, East Asia and Australia. Wow. That is cool. Now, before we go to the really big sharks, we've got some really neat ones over here. Those are shark eggs laid here at the aquarium. No way. Serious? Yeah. Yep. We had some epaulette sharks in our touch pool that laid eggs. And oh, we have actually hatched a few of the eggs. We've got one little baby shark. Oh, yeah. Right there. And once it gets large enough to be with the others, you can see right over there on the far right side mm -hmm. under the rocks, there's one that's a little bit larger. Oh yeah, right there. Now shark eggs have a really fun name. They're called mermaids purses. <laughs> Quiz question, he just said it. What are shark eggs named? Oh my, that is one big lobster. Yeah, this guy is about two and a half, three pounds last I'd heard. Whoa. Uh, which means that it's fairly old. Yeah. And you might think that a lobster this big is really good eating, but once they start to get above two pounds, the meat and the texture start to lose a lot, people uh, say. Okay. I remember when I was a kid, we were told to be careful of these guys. The mantis shrimp. Okay. That is right. This one is a zebra mantis shrimp. Dang, that's cool. They get the name mantis because their front arms are, look like a praying mantis. They've got those little spikes oh, okay. and gripping parts. Now, the reason, if I remember right, is that they've got like this pinching power that's just insane. They do. They have built-in springs to their shell that let them punch with the same acceleration as a 22 caliber bullet. Dang. Which is pretty impressive. Yeah. It's shark time. That's right. All of the sharks that you see on the wall here are life size. So this is how big they can be. Now, when people ask the question, how big does this animal get? It's always tricky. Do you say the average size or the maximum right. size? Well, that and in captivity or not. It definitely. So it's like saying, how big are humans? <laughs> yeah. Five yeah. foot, six foot, seven and a half. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I have to admit, this is my favorite part. Oh, check that. A lot of people love it. And when you're here and there's not a big crowd, it just has a different feel. I know, hear the echo. Mm-hmm. Wow. 
So how many gallons, just put it in perspective, how many gallons is this one? This is a 300,000 gallon system. Wow. Okay, let's put that in perspective. Quiz question, how many Olympic sized swimming pools could you fill up with the water in this shark tank? You can fill potentially up to 10 pools. 10, that's a lot. Wow. Okay, we've got a fox nose. Yep. Black tip reef shark. Yep, they're the ones with the black tip swimming around. Okay. That's a black tip as well. Yep. Okay. Nurse shark. Nurse shark. You know what's cool is when you touch it, mm -hmm. it kind of feels like sandpaper. Yeah. Their scales are like little miniature teeth all facing one way. Oh. So you go with it, it's kind of rough, and the other way it really gets hard. Stingray. Southern stingray. Oh, check that out. Now, for anybody who was at our aquarium when we were at Sandy still, and you remember the stingrays in the touch pool? Those are those guys, all wow. grown up. Yeah, that's, I'll say they're grown up. Oh, look at that. Isn't that awesome? I love when they swim over, you can see their mouth, gills, and their nostrils. And if we're really lucky, we can see our sea oh, turtles. There, there, there we go. Right on cue. Okay, so we had Nemo. Yep. Well, this is Crush. This is Crush right here, green sea turtle. Wow. Our turtles here are rescues. Yeah. Our green sea turtle was actually bitten by a shark oh dear. in the wild. There's a still a faint scar on the right side of the shell. Huh. But that injury caused a buoyancy disorder, so she floats all okay. the time. What's this guy with the hump? That is a unicorn fish, specifically a oh. bulb nose unicorn fish. And then, okay, and then I see this guy that's got a little thing. If yeah. I remember, that's a tang of some sort? A tang, yeah. So tang, unicorn fish, surgeon fish, they all are the different names for the same group of fish. I'll be darned. So what's that one with the really long fin? The long tail the there and the dots on it? That is a zebra shark. It's a fun story right in there. naming. Oh, yeah. Because when they're young, they have stripes just like a zebra does. And then as they grow older, those stripes turn into spots. Wow. Very, very cool. Quiz question, why don't the sharks eat all the fish in here? Yeah. Answer is? We take really good care of these sharks. We feed them three times a week, so they get plenty of food. Also, the way we feed the sharks helps make it so they're less likely to go after the fish in here. So how do you feed them? We actually teach our sharks how to read. Oh, okay. And you might be thinking, wait, I, how can a shark read? But if I were to hold up a red sign with eight sides and nothing on it, what does that sign mean? Stop. Stop, yeah. And if I had a green triangle, that one would mean? Go, go. You could read that without any words. Oh, now this guy is cool. Yeah, this guy is a guitar fish. Oh. Also sometimes called a shovel nose ray. Because I was, yeah, so is he related to the rays? He is actually. Oh, okay. If he swims by, you'll see that just like the rays, its gills and mouth are all on the underside oh, of its body. Oh, I'll be darned. Wow. Oh, That's there's one of our eels. Oh, my goodness. Right Whoa, check that out. Okay, so this is one of Ursula's friends. That's right. She what? had a couple eels with her. What kind is this? This guy is a fimbriated or spotted moray eel. Wow. This place is huge, and we're not done. Be watching for the next Jessup's Journal when we continue this virtual field trip. I want to thank Brent for giving us a tour of the Loveland Living Planet Aquarium. Thanks also goes out to the underwriters that made this possible. Rustico, 5Y Sanitizer, JW Custom Hats, Liquidirt, and Taylor Cooperative. With another entry into Jessup's Journal, I'm Doug Jessup, ABC4 News.